you probably would recognize this melody. It's one of Rachmaninoff's most famous passages, especially for pianists, and for good reason. It's the finale of his third piano concerto, and Rachmaninoff pulls out all the stops. The melody spans a whopping 32 bars, and features epic chords in the piano, which cut through the dense texture of a tutti orchestra. It starts from the middle A, and rises up more than four octaves. In fact, going so high up, that it reaches out of the piano range, and the melody is momentarily relegated to the strings, while the piano plays supporting chords, only joining back again once in range. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's examine the melody in greater detail. We have a 4 bar introduction of sorts, with a sweeping upward motion that mostly outlines an arpeggio. The melody rises so high that we almost believe that its descent would be imminent, but it defies our expectations by rising even higher notably with the use of sequences. First, in 3-bar sequences, then 2-bar ones. In particular, we have a tiny motif of an apojatura over a half-diminished chord, which then resolves downward stepwise. This motif reappears constantly, and serves almost as tiny peaks of tension within a broader phrase. the highest point of the melody, and we immediately begin a slow climb downwards, which makes use of a tiny motif as well. And upon closer inspection, we find that it isn't all that different from the previous one, almost a retrograde. At the very bottom, we get a sudden renewed burst of energy, which results in a short but powerful culmination, almost like a final breath of life before dying out. The extremely colourful Neapolitan chord makes an appearance here, but it doesn't resolve to the dominant chord directly, instead passing chromatically to a half-diminished 2 chord that resolves to a 1-6-4 chord. 